Hey there techies, today we have a shocking revelation that's juicier than freshly squeezed lemonade. Our favorite tech superhero Elon Musk has done it again. He's just leaked a new EV battery that promises to charge up to 80% in just 72 seconds. That's faster than the time it takes for us to finish a cup of coffee. So if you're excited to know more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to get more of the latest and greatest tech news. Let's dive in. You know that Elon Musk's $44 billion Twitter buyout has been quite the ride. It's like the guy just saw Twitter and thought, you know what, I'll take it. And we all know he's not one to shy away from a good purchase. But you have to give it to him, he's been having a blast with it. From trolling world leaders to hyping up cryptocurrency, Elon has been using Twitter like a personal playground. And let's not forget the time he changed his bio to Techno King of Tesla and added Bitcoin to Tesla's balance sheet, sending the internet into a frenzy. But this time, Elon has done something that has shaken the EV industry playground like they showed in the movie title 2012. Tesla operates a gigafactory in Nevada, which is home of the EV giant. Recently, Elon has injected $3.6 billion in the company to increase private shareholding to more than 30%. Tesla's cost effectiveness and superiority in battery mass production and pricing have been highlighted throughout their significant investment in the gigafactory. The company's CEO, Elon Musk, confidently predicts that Tesla will soon become the dominant automaker in the world and is currently leading the industry in profitability and manufacturing efficiency. The Nevada factory expansion will also allow Tesla to produce 1.5 million light vehicles annually in terms of batteries, with a stretch goal of five times that number. Tesla's strong position in the EV space is driving other car manufacturers to offer their electric vehicles for less than cost in order to compete. This is largely due to Tesla's cost-effective battery production, which is already near the bottom of the cost curve. This dominance in battery production is causing concern among competitors in the automotive industry and has led to some price reductions for Tesla vehicles. However, these price reductions are not a sign of desperation to finance acquisition, but rather evidence of Tesla's continued market dominance in the EV space. Tesla's pre-tax margins of 17% are approximately twice what the rest of the industry average is. This indicates the company's ease in cutting its large profit margins to hurt its rivals. As a result, other car manufacturers such as Toyota may face serious problems due to their reliance on internal combustion engine cars and lack of success in EV manufacturing. Analysts, including Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley, have revealed that Tesla is producing battery production capacity at a third of the cost of its top competitors. This has allowed the company to reduce the cost of investing in batteries by gigawatt hour per half. This means that they are on track to meet their long-term goal of lowering battery production costs to 69% of 2020 pricing. This extraordinary cost effectiveness is a significant advantage for Tesla in the electric vehicle market, especially since other car manufacturers are struggling to compete. In fact, some manufacturers are offering their EVs at less than cost to remain competitive. Toyota is one such manufacturer that is facing a difficult challenge due to its reliance on internal combustion engine cars and lack of success with EV production. Despite Toyota's reputation for cost management and leadership, analysts fear that the company is significantly behind in EV production and may struggle to catch up with the rest of the world. This news is not just bad for Toyota, but also other EV producers in China and the US. Toyota is feeling the heat because it's not competing fast enough in the EV space. Current CEO of Toyota, Akio Toyota, will step down from his position in April 2023 and will be succeeded by Koji Sato, who will be burdened with the task of leading Toyota in the EV market space basically from the ground up. Considering the fact that EV production costs have been steadily declining and manufacturers such as Tesla and BYD have majority of the market share, it would be difficult for Toyota to enter this segment if it does not have a compelling offering. Tesla is already leading the market with third-generation EVs which have better build quality, superior performance, and enhanced technological features such as AI and self-driving to make it a more lucrative offer for the buyers. By the time Toyota catches up, the market will be essentially dominated by more robust, affordable, and readily available EVs. Elon's Tesla has certainly been the forerunner of the EV evolution with more profits per vehicle. According to statistics, their production cost for the 4680 battery cells is 70% lower as compared to their Chinese or Korean competitors, which, according to Morgan Stanley's analyst Adam Jones, will reflect in the form of 70% lower capital gigawatt per hour production per vehicle. To achieve this target, Tesla relies on process efficiencies and American government subsidies according to the American Inflation Reduction Act. 
When your processes are optimized, manufacturing costs are reduced significantly. As per the American Inflation Reduction Act, Tesla's per gigawatt hour production cost for its 100 gigawatt hour 4680 cell factory in Nevada has been significantly reduced. The Act provides tax credits for domestic production of advanced energy products, which includes battery production for electric vehicles. Tesla is now eligible for a tax credit of up to $2,500 per gigawatt hour battery capacity produced at the Nevada factory, which could amount to a total credit of $250 million per year. This reduction in production costs will enable Tesla to further lower the prices of its electric vehicles and to accelerate the adoption of sustainable transportation. Keeping in view the facts, Tesla will generate $3.5 billion from government subsidies alone, which translates to profits of $35 per kilowatt hour, which will increase by another $10 per kilowatt hour because of tax credits by the U.S. government, as long as the production is being done inside the U.S. Elon says the production of the 4680 cells has increased significantly, and the factory is now producing these cells in capacity enough for 1,000 cars per week. This will be further expanded by another 100 gigawatt hours as announced at the Giga Factory. With an ambitious target of 1,000 gigawatt hour cell production capacity in mind, Tesla has no plans of stopping anytime soon. These ambitions are clearly reflected in profits generated per vehicle sold, which is $10,000. The competitors are certainly scared when you compare the fact that Ford recently realized that the iconic Mustang Mach-EV, which has over a mile of wiring that is actually not needed for the vehicle operation. This speaks volume for Tesla's efficiency in operation. Tesla is also planning a Gigafactory in Texas and has already expanded the Nevada factory. To further reduce the cost of a critical component lithium, Tesla is planning a lithium refiner along the Gulf Coast, which, if successful, will drive their profits much higher. The 4680 cell system is already considerably cheaper to produce, and if the main raw material lithium is available at a lower price point, then it's clear where the picture is going. Cars on the road are a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, with transportation accounting for approximately 29% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2019, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. However, the rise of electric vehicles, EVs, is changing that. EVs produce significantly fewer emissions than traditional gasoline vehicles. In fact, a study by the Union of Concerned Scientists found that even when charged with electricity generated from coal-fired power plants, EVs produce fewer emissions than the average gasoline-powered car. When charged with cleaner sources of electricity like wind or solar, the emission savings are even greater. Tesla, as a leading EV manufacturer, is at the forefront of this emissions-reducing shift. Their vehicles have been shown to produce zero tailpipe emissions and their energy storage products are helping to integrate more renewable energy onto the grid. In addition, Tesla has set a goal to become a net zero emissions company by 2050 and has made significant investments in renewable energy and energy efficiency measures at their manufacturing facilities. As more consumers choose EVs and more manufacturers like Tesla invest in emissions-reducing technology, we can expect to see a significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from the transportation sector. According to a report by Bloomberg NEF, global electric vehicle production is projected to surpass the production of internal combustion engine vehicles by 2025. This shift toward EVs is expected to have a significant impact on the environment, as transportation is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. EVs have the potential to significantly reduce these emissions and improve air quality by using clean energy sources. Additionally, as EV production increases, economies of scale will drive down the cost of EVs, making them more accessible to consumers. This will help accelerate the transition away from ICE vehicles, resulting in a cleaner, more sustainable transportation sector. Companies like Tesla are leading the way in EV production and innovation, and their success is a promising sign for the future of sustainable transportation. EVs have several advantages over internal combustion vehicles. Firstly, they emit fewer greenhouse gases and pollutants, leading to improved air quality and reduced environmental impact. Secondly, they have lower operating costs as electricity is cheaper than gasoline or diesel. Thirdly, EVs have fewer moving parts, leading to lower maintenance costs and longer lifetimes. Finally, EVs offer a smoother and quieter driving experience due to their electric motors. In summary, EVs offer a more sustainable, cost-effective, and enjoyable alternative to ICE vehicles. But the consumer is reluctant from adopting EVs because of one crucial factor, which is charging time. But researchers are working day and night to find new ways they can upend this problem to make the adaption process easy and widespread. 
An innovative startup by the name Moran from Switzerland has found a unique way of reducing EV charge time to just 72 seconds. Morand e-Technology has developed an innovative, ultra-fast rechargeable battery pack that has the potential to revolutionize mobility by allowing city cars to recharge in just 72 seconds. This cutting-edge technology utilizes hybrid ultra-capacitor cells from SEC SA, combined with advanced controllers to rapidly recharge and discharge. The Morand e-Technology battery pack is more reliable and ideal for applications that require fast 5-minute charges. The cells have a lifespan of over 50,000 cycles, and the technology has been independently tested to prove its capability of recharging in less than 2 minutes at up to 900 amps, 360 kilowatts. Additionally, the Morand e-Technology battery pack is designed with fire protection measures that prevent fire propagation outside of the vehicle permanently. This innovative technology has countless applications, including automotive, e-mobility, robotics, agrotech, defense, locomotives, drones, and more. And I'm already feeling anxious waiting for the day I'll have to wait longer for my coffee than to charge my electric vehicle battery. Can't wait to see what else Elon Musk and his team at Tesla have in store for us. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to TechNow for more electrifying updates.